Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to try to clarify some terms that I hear misused all the time. Pretty much in every single light review that I do, uh, people conflate these terms down below in the comment section. So I wanna kinda of clear it up and give you guys a better idea of what you're actually looking at when you're looking at specs for lights, particularly lights for self-defense, right? Um, so we have a couple different uh, lights here to illustrate this today. Uh, so right here in my hand, this is the uh, Surefire X 300 Ultra with 1000 lumen output. This right here is the uh, XH35 with 1000 lumen output. You guys are gonna see me compare these here in just a second and let you guys get an idea of what the beam pattern looks like. And then we also have the LZ Bravo right here with the standard reflector in there. And we also have the flood reflector for it. So uh, we're gonna compare these two outputs as well. Again, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what you're looking at. And the thing that people most often confuse from what I see anyway, is the difference between lumens and candela, right? Um, so lumens is the total amount of visible light that comes out of a given source. So both of these lights here, these Surefires, both have 1000 lumens. With this LZ Bravo, when I illuminate it, regardless of the reflector that's in there, it's gonna be putting out 600 to 620 lumens. Um, but the beam patterns are gonna look dramatically different. Where that comes into play is with candela. So candela, I'll put the actual definition down below for the nerds out there. Um, but the way you need to look at it as someone who's using a light for self-defense is that uh, candela is the amount of light on a given spot, right? So that's kind of uh, actually very similar to lux, but what it means is like the hot spot. When you're looking at candela, generally speaking, the more candela that you have, the brighter your hot spot will be, the more intense your hot spot will be, and the more throw you'll have with your light. Um, that's really important, right? So when people say, like for instance, uh, when I reviewed this XH35 here, that's a thousand lumen light, people kept saying, a thousand lumens is too much for indoor use. Well, I think you're probably gonna, a lot of people who said that rather, are probably gonna rethink that here by the end of this video because the reality is this 1000 lumen light uh, with the max vision beam here versus this 600 lumen light here with the Elzato Bravo and the standard reflector are completely different. Inside the home, this will be perceived as more bright. Um, however, the lumens, with the lumens rather, that is not the case. The actual total amount of light coming out of this XA35 will be more, but the perception to the human eye will be that this is less. And I think you guys are gonna see that here in just a second. So we'll wait for it to get dark here and then give you guys the actual illustration so you can probably, hopefully, better understand what I'm talking about. So we're inside my house, it's nighttime right now and the doors in front of me that you're about to see are approximately eight feet away from you. First up is gonna be the 1000 lumen XH35 light. And there you guys can see it has that nice wide max vision beam pattern. Definitely giving you good situational awareness in the room, but I can tell you um, I'm here with my naked eyes and there's absolutely no way that this light would blind me in any sort of way, even with those white doors right there. Uh, here we have the X300, again, 1000 lumen, but you guys can see it's a very different beam pattern. If I was focused right there on the center of that door, it's almost washing that camera out uh, as it looks, as you guys see it rather, and to my eye, it's very, very bright right there in the center as well. Again, just to contrast it, 1000 lumens here with the XH35, and then 1000 lumens here with the X300. You can see the focus and the intensity of it uh, is very different than it is here with the XH35 with this X300. We're in the exact same spot, but this is the LZ here with the standard reflector, and I'm just gonna split screen it here so you guys can see. I'm basically gonna focus right here on the doorknob, and you can see there's a little bit of intensity right there in the center, and again, that's gonna be the peak candela of it. And then on the right side of your screen, you guys should be seeing the flood lens here and how it looks a little bit different in terms of intensity uh, with the two outputs. We've stepped outside now and that spot that you see right there on the fence where the wood fence meets the iron fence is approximately 35 feet away. Those trees are about 40 to 50 feet away. And right now you guys are looking at the output of the XH35. I should also add that it's pretty much a full moon out here, so it's relatively light for darkness. Um, but that's the output there. You can see a pretty good beam pattern there in terms of good spill, not a whole lot of hot spots. So we'll compare that here with the X300 Ultra 1000 lumen light as well. But you can see the light is much more focused right there on that corner. And as I move it sort of out of frame, you lose a lot of uh, situational awareness there out there on the edge. However, if I wanted to illuminate these trees out there, definitely gives you better illumination on those further away um, objects than say this max vision beam here would do. I'm not sure if it comes across on camera, but I can tell you for sure that's how it looks in person. 
And here we have the output from the LZ here on the left of your screen, right screen. Again, we're doing the split screen here, should be the flood pattern, but you can see how much more intense it is right here where the uh, wood and the iron fence meet with this one here, which is the traditional reflector versus what you saw there with the flood. Also take a look here at these trees, much more um, easily illuminated and easily identifiable with the standard um, lens in there, reflector rather, than the flood. Again, we have the camera set up to be about what I see here with my naked eye. Again, it's a kind of a bright light out with the uh, near full moon. Uh, those trees that are not in front of you, which you can probably see the outline of right now, are approximately 120 feet away across the lake from where I'm standing right now, where the camera is. So this right here is the illumination that you're going to get from the x 35 Again, 1000 lumen output, but not a whole lot of candela. You'll see down there on the bottom of your screen here, we have the grass and then those weeds down there in the lake very uh, easily identifiable. You can see them clearly, even though the center point of this beam is actually oriented out there on the trees, probably in the middle of the trees, about 30 feet up. But again, you're getting good situational awareness with that reflector and that output. Now here we have the X300, again, 1000 lumen option. You guys can see, we can sort of see down in there on the bottom of our screen uh, that the grass and stuff is lit up these little things down here. But with the reflector oriented all the way across the lake, you guys can see it's actually illuminating those trees. Now, this is important, again, like I talked about, if you want to do some hunting or anything like that, you want to be able to throw that light out there and get positive identification at distance. Um, this is going to be crucially important for you. So that's, again, the 1000 lumen X300, then XH35, which really illuminates the trees to the naked eye a little bit, but nothing like that which is the X300. Hopefully that cleared it up for you guys. You guys kind of have a better idea of what you're looking at when you're looking at published specs for a light. And I hope, again, a lot of you that said, oh, it's too bright for indoor use with a thousand lumens, kind of got some better perspective there and realized that that doesn't really apply when used in context, especially for self-defense, especially within a given area. But it's also true for the amount of throw you have, right? So if you're trying to uh, do something with, say, like a rifle where you need more throw, say hunting, something like that, um, that lumen rating is not a good indicator of how it's actually gonna perform downrange. The candela rating is a better performer. Again, the same is true with perception of brightness within an, an enclosed structure. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, by all means, post down below in the comment section. If you guys have friends that mistake these terms all the time, please share this video with them. Hoping to get the education out to the masses. If you like what you saw here and you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thanks for following me over on Facebook. As always, as many of you guys do, it's where I post a ton of deals and uh, all of those things so you guys can get the best price on all this cool gear. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you in the next video.